Well, well, well. After that previous video talking about Game Rant saying that Halo Infinite is dying dead, needs to be forgotten about, thrown in the backyard, taken to the shed, hung out to dry, I can't think of any more sayings. Kotaku comes out, and it feels like it's kind of, it's kind of digging at that, that article, which, you know, I love some, some journalist drama. Saying Halo Infinite is so back, baby Halo Infinite Squad Battle Playlist, which features fan favorite map Valhalla, which, here's my hot take, let me know in the comments down below if you feel the same, or if you hate me, I don't really like Valhalla. It's probably my least favorite map in the Squad Battle Playlist. Anyways, makes it finally feel like a franchise peak, and we're not going to go over every single thing that the article says, and I will link the article down below in the description so that you can go read it. But I just think it's funny because I feel like there's been an increase in people, you know, angrily commenting and saying, you need to move on from Halo, I really like your content, but you should go do something else. Or, you're a shill, and why are you even covering this game? Halo's dead. <laughs> And I feel like it's almost because Halo is getting better that people need to feel that they need to be more vocal about how much they dislike the game or how dead they think it is. It's like a narrative that people are pushing, which is fine, whatever. I'm not going to hate on the engagement. It helps my videos. And it's definitely, it does not bother me. Like people, I feel like, think that they're making me upset with the things that they say, or like, oh, you're a small YouTube channel, Who, uh, you're irrelevant, who cares about your opinion, and it's like, well, you're even more relevant than I am, I guess, so. It is what it is. Anyways, the writer of the article talks about how they fell off with Halo Infinite, saying that it just didn't feel as good as other games, and that they played it on and off until the end of last year, and just, just stopped playing. Then they talk about how 343 used the community, the incredible community, to help spice things up by offering new Forge maps and official playlists, which I still think is an amazing... They, Yes, that, that is one of the best things that they could have done. And then they said that you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink, just like you can tell me I should get back into Halo, but you can't make me do it. But they said that their fiancé got them to get on. They didn't talk about how amazing the new maps are in Squad Battle and how it's been super fun. And they end with, maybe Halo Infinite has always been this good. It just needed a familiar conduit, a recognizable face to remind you of that. Here, here. I do think that adding these old maps have definitely helped with the population and whatnot, and just like new things to play. But it does feel like there's been a huge surge recently with more positive views for Halo Infinite. I've seen an uptick in interest on YouTube, on Twitter... You know, people asking if they should get into the game again, if they should re-download it, or people just straight up telling me that they are re-downloading the game and they've been playing the last month and they've been having a ton of fun. So that's really cool to see. Also, I think Mint Blitz is also making a video about um, the positive reception that Halo Infinite has been getting this season. And something else that I think about is like, we're seeing all these other games uh, get shut down. You know, there's been a ton of games that have actually been killed off. You know, like the Gundam Overwatch game is getting sunset, I guess. Which sucks because I did enjoy that game and I thought it was cool and I love Gundam. Shout out to Toonami raising me on anime when I was a kid. And I feel like it would be just as easy for Microsoft or 343, especially with, you know, like the, the change in leadership and all that other stuff that we always talk about, to just be like, all right, we're done. We're not adding anything else, but instead they've utilized the community and user-generated content to create this huge foundation for the game. And then each season they've added more and more dev-focused resources, like uh, things to the career progression and stuff like that, which I don't think is even done. Like to me, that's just the baseline and I think they are going to keep adding to it, but who knows? We'll see what happens. But yeah, I think that the, uh, the upswing is happening. I'm interested to see what the next season brings, to be completely honest. Because if we do get something like a, a real PvE mode like Firefight, I think that that completely changes the narrative around the game and allows a portion of the player base that has been alienated for a couple years to come back. And it's something for other people to enjoy that they just don't want to play like multiplayer or even like me. I'm not going to lie, like I love playing PvP, but sometimes I just want to go out there and beat the poop out of some, you know, banished or whatever, or the flood, bring back the flood. But that's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below. If you made it this far into the video, you know, I read all the comments, so I would love to see you put down there 
poop head. Yeah. Anyways, I love all of you, and I will see you around the ring.